Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and to another exercise. In this video, we'll see how to create a simple model in FreeCAD. To design this model, we'll be using the part design, fastness, and part workbench. So now go to FreeCAD and first create a new document and switch to the part design workbench. And now let's go to the drink page. As you can see here in this page, we have these all views, sessions, and these 3D views. First, we'll start by creating a sketch for this part here. So let's do that. Go to FreeCut. First, let's create a new body and now a new sketch. We'll select the axi plane, this plane here, according to this 3D view. Select the axi plane. And now go to Sketch a Geometry, these tools here, and select this tool. Click in this icon and now in this origin point and do this. Okay, as you can see, we have two degrees of freedom. Let's try to full constrain this sketch here. So first, let's make this line here vertical. Select vertical constraint, and now just click in this line here. And we have one degree of freedom now. So let's select this tool here, horizontal distance tool, and now these two points here. And now if we go to the trim page, we can see that the distance between these two lines here is 19. So let's set this distance, set 19 and enter. Okay, as you can see now we have this sketch full constrained. Escape two times to leave the sketch. Let's select pet tool. Okay, the length here as you can see is 8 millimeters. Change to 8 and and also check these options, smart to plane, and then click OK. And as you can see now we have this first part here. And the next step now is to create this chamfer here, as you can see. So let's do that. What you do now? Now we have to create a new sketch. Click here in this icon, and now let's select Y's plane. And next, we need to extract this edge. Okay. So to do that, we need to select this tool here, external jump tool, and for example, let's extract this edge here. And next, let's select this tool, polyline tool, and let's draw this sketch. Okay, in this way. And next, what you need to do is to make these two lines here equal. So now we select equal constraint, and now these two lines here. Okay, now we have this equal constraint. And now let's see the size of this chamfer. As you can see here, we have 1.97. So, or we can use this dimension here, a range of 9 here. We can select this tool, vertical distance tool, and then this origin point and this point here, and set 9 millimeters. Okay, and skip two times to leave the sketch. And now, to remove material, we'll use this tool here, groove tool. Click in this icon, and as you can see here, we need to change the axis of this operation. To do that, we click here, and as you can see, we need to select the Y axis. So select Y axis here, and it's OK now. So click OK, and let's press Home now. OK, now it's time to mirror this chamfer in this side here. To do that, we need to go to the model tip and select this last operation and then mirror tool. Okay, and as you can see now we have this. Let's click OK. Yes, and the next step now is to create these cylinders, this three cylinder here and this cylinder. Okay, so let's do that. To do that, we can use these tools here, primitives of part design. So Click here and you will see these all options here. Let's select active cylinder. And now just select this face of these parts here. And now we'll set the size of this cylinder. So first here we'll change the ridge. So let's see the ridge of this cylinder here. As you can see, we have a diameter of 11 for this cylinder. So what you'll do here is to put this formula 11 divided by 2. And now we go to the height here. We'll change to as you can see, we have this as here 0 0.5. So let's change the length here to 0 0.5 and enter. 
as you can see now we have this small cylinder here and next let's create another cylinder here select uh, the cylinder tool and now just select this face and next let's change the ridge here as you can see we have a diameter of 16 for the cylinder so the ridge will be the half of 16 8 millimeters and here height will be 2 millimeters as you can see here so let's change to 2 and enter now we have this okay and next it's time to create these tricks here to do that we'll use the fastness rock bench so now go to FreeCAD and change the rock bench to fastness rock bench first let's start by the small 3d root here we go to these tools here and we select this 3d root merge 3d root click here and as you can see now we have a new object in the 3d view and also in the 3d view so now let's change some parameters of this 3d root to match with this object here so okay first let's make a double click here and also let's move this click ok ok the first thing that will change here will be will be the diameter of this 3d root so first we need to select the 3d root here and then we go to parameters here as you can see we have the diameter is m6 now and what you need here is this diameter 12.5 millimeters so let's click here and look for this diameter as you can see here we have this reference and um, 12 and we don't have this reference here and um, 12.5 millimeters so here we need to change this to custom and then we go to custom diameter and we change here to 12.5 okay this dimension here and next here we need to change the length as you can see the length of this 3d road is 9 so let's change here length to 9 and enter okay and now we need to change which of these treat as you can see here we have 0 0.75 so we need to change here to 0 0.75 okay and also let, let's make the treat visible to do that we need to click here and set true okay and now refresh and as you can see now we have this treat okay and the next step is to is to place these the dirt here in the cylinder to do that we'll use this tool here but first you need to select the tree the dirt click here and then click control and select the circular edge of this cylinder and now we can use this tool here just click here and as you can see now we have this and and now to invert the direction of this just click here and you'll see this now let's press home or change to the right view as you can see we have this okay it's all okay and next let's place this through the draw too to do that what you do we click here in this icon to create another 3d root and next we select this 3d root and the first thing that to do is to change the diameter to 17 let's click here and look for this reference as you can see here we have m um, 18 we don't have m um, 17 so again we need to set custom and then change the download here manual let's set 17 and let's change the length here to as you can see here we have a length of we have a length of 11.5 millimeters let's change here to 11.5 millimeters and then true and which is one as you can see uh, so so now let's make the tree visible set through here and okay now we have this as you can see so next let's try to place this through the root here 
in the face of this cylinder here. So first let's select this with the dot and now control select this circular edge here and click in this tool and reverse duration. And now as you can see we have this. Let's change to the right view to see if we don't have problems. As you can see here we have this small problem here. To solve this problem, what we can do is to increase the size of this 3 d root and then change the offset of this 3 d root too. So what we do, we select the 3 d root and we go to the length, we set 12 here and enter and now we go to offset. If we change here to, for example, 5, as you can see, the placement of these 3 d root changes. If we set minus 5, as you can see, we have this space here. So what you'll do here is to set 0 0.5 and enter. And now, as you can see, it's all okay. Okay, now we have this. And the next step is to create a union of these all three parts here. To do that, we need to move to the part workbench. So click here in workbench selector and select part workbench. And now just close this arrow and select these three objects and then this tool here, union tool, click here. And now as you can see, we have this fusion part here. Okay, now that we have this, let's try to create this hole, as you can see. So now what we'll do is to move to the part design workbench and go to the model tip. And now just select this fusion part and create a body. Okay, and now we're able to create a sketch here. So let's click in this icon and select YZ plane. Okay, uh, now make sure you are in the session view mode. Click here to switch to the session view mode. Okay, and next let's select external jump tool. What we'll do with this tool here is to extract this edge and this edge here. So let's do that. Extract this edge and also this edge here. And next let's select polyline tool, this tool here, and let's draw this sketch here. So first what we'll do is to click in this vertical so click in this edge here and again and now in this way and now in this point okay now let's set the size of this sketch here so let's select constant distance tool for this line here we'll set a length of three millimeters as you can see we have a diameter of six for this hole here so we'll set three here and for this line here we'll set six the alpha of twelve okay and now escape we have to constrain this point here select this point and now this horizontal axis and place this constraint here Okay, as you can see, we have two degrees of freedom. So, okay, I think we need to extract this edge here. Select external jump tool and extract this edge. Okay, and now let's select horizontal distance tool. Select this point and this point here. As you can see, the size here is 11.75. Okay, and the size of this horizontal line here is E17.5, as you can see. And now skip two times, and now it's time to create the hole. To do that, we'll use this tool here, the groove tool. Just click in this icon, and now we need to change the axis to Y axis. Okay. So just click here and select Y axis. And now as you can see, we have this hole. Let's click OK. 
and next let's create these charm for operations here the size as you can see is 0 0.5 so let's do that let's first select this circular edge here and now rotate this model and select this edge and then jump for tool let's change the size here to 0 0.5 and enter and now as you can see we have this and this is the final model the finished design of this model thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and also if you want to support the content of this channel there's a link in the description of this video to my qualified page thank you for watching i hope to see you in the next video